Lumos Maxima. The blind pig is a speakeasy, and we're in New York in 1926. Prohibition was fully underway. The notion of prohibition at that time, specifically here in the wizarding community, there are all types of people. There's jazz and sleaze and kind of untrustworthy gangsters in here, and we had a great time shooting here. I love 1920s in New York. The intensity of the era appeals to me. People drank and people partied, so it was quite a crazy time of excess. Colleen's just knocked it out of the park this time. And she was telling me that they went through vintage stores and second-hand stores across two continents, basically, and scooped up everything that was 1920s. They restored it all. It's really a feast of fashion design. It's beautiful. So, uh, action. It's like a speakeasy, just full of charm and full of beautifully imaginative, strange detail. It's seedy but it's a place you wouldn't mind coming and having a drink, picking up a broad, you know, getting your swagger on. There's a come hither quality to it. This is an underground situation, hence the vaulted ceiling. We've got as much character into this complex of tunnels and caverns as we possibly could. It's absolutely dripping in nicotine-stained filth and runs and effervescence from the mortar. Rob Bliss was our concept artist on some of the characters and also on the instruments in the band. You'll see the piano, first side appears to be an upright piano, but in fact it's an upright grand piano. The splendid sort of pièce de résistance is the brass instrument, which is based on a sousaphone, but incorporates trumpet, bagpipe, trombone. So we had good fun doing this, I have to say. You want a real good time? Show up at the Blind Pig. Thank you for all of the support you've given our film. It's a privilege to be a part of this new era of magic. We all hope that you have a brilliant time celebrating and reliving the magic of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Sort of makes me want to be a wizard. <laughs>